Viewer Alan asked for a carne asada grilled cheese, so that's what we're making. Okay, I made that up. Well, the viewer Alan part, there's no viewer Alan. I mean, sure, sorry, there probably is a viewer Alan, but I just needed something to say. And Max goes, okay, ready? Let's go. And then I deliver whatever line I'm going to come up with. And my back was up against the wall. I didn't know what to say. So that came out. Yes, there's probably many viewer Allens. Not that I can recall any of them asked specifically for a carne asada grilled cheese cooked on the big ass Santa Maria grill that we have behind us. Thank you, weld.com. But how could this go wrong? You got carne asada. It's a home run. You got the sandwich part. Oh, we're doing it on a torta. Did I say did I say that? No, you didn't. Well, you said grilled cheese. Shit. Carne asada grilled cheese on a torta roll. It's all good. What if you don't know what a torta is? Oh, torta. Sorry. Think Mexican sandwich roll. That looks like this. Hold on. Oh it's way God. down in the Almost got it. And by the way. That's for Max's benefit. I have a mic right here. Watch what happens when I do this. <laughs> he doesn't like it. So when I do this, it pisses him off. Mexican torta roll. Mexican sandwiches go on these things. Lovely, fresh. Bought them from the place where I get the giant ass uh, tortillas. We'll give them a name. Nico's Taco Shop, right by my house here in uh, San Diego. So. so it's going on that. We got to make the marinade, the carne asada marinade. Get the meat in it, we got some uh, avocado crema to make, and then uh, it's uh, pretty simple. Pretty, pretty simple. The, uh, the flat iron, let's, uh, let's look at this for a second. So here's what we have. I have this lovely little, little flat iron that looks like this. But uh, look, it's beautifully thick. I just want to make it a little thinner, widen it out a bit. So I'm going to sort of open it up like a book. So we're going to take our, our knife, not cut all the way through, but just like this, and then start to just do this. Just flatten it out a little bit. Same thing this direction. You get what I'm doing here, Max? I do. Would you ever do this? Of course I would. No, you wouldn't. You never cook. Little known secret, ladies and gentlemen, the boy doesn't cook. No comment. He really doesn't. I'm okay. Too, I'm always editing. That's bullshit. Okay, this is perfect, right? It's exactly how I wanted it to be. Nice, let's put it on a plate and let's make our marinade. Pretty simple, everything goes in our container and then we blend it. We'll start with a bunch of cilantro. Uh, and when I say bunch, I mean just the tops, like that. And in they go. Three cloves of garlic, just dropped in, like that. Tablespoon of cumin, pretty much all I had actually. A teaspoon each of kosher salt and black pepper, like that. I keep them mixed, you know that. About a tablespoon of brown sugar, juice of one lime. Every time I squeeze lime in whatever it is, and I say juice of one lime, it reminds me of my demo from almost 20 years ago, me trying to get into the, the, the cooking on TV business. My demo was 90 seconds, and it was horrendous. Honestly, her, should, we, should we Yes. put it in? Should I finish this, and then we'll do that? Yes. Okay. Continue. All right, so we've got the juice of one lime. We're going to come back. You're going to like this. We need some uh, neutral oil, and you know I'm going with avocado oil for this, right? Absolutely. We usually do. We always do. It's good fat. It's healthy. We love chosen foods, avocado oil, 100% pure. And the thing that I put in that pisses people off all over the planet, apparently, but makes amazing carne asada marinade is a couple tablespoons of not traditional soy sauce. The dreaded soy sauce. One and two. Soy sauce and carne asada. <laughs> people, <No>! what? <laughs> what was that? All right, then we take our base, we put it on. And let's go, Max. Up we go. On we go, and away we go. Just let it do its thing. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Comes off. Oh my God. The smell of this. I mean, first the look of it. 
It's gorgeous. But you have no idea how amazing this is going to be. I do. All right, so we'll take our steak that we've opened up like a book. We'll throw it in the Ziploc bag. Come on, buddy. And in we'll go most, but not all, of our marinade. We'll save a little for after. Squeeze out some of the air, most of the air. And then we do this. Perfecto, see? Yeah. Beautiful. And now, while well, all the deliciousness in here works to make this flat iron amazing, we put it in the fridge and we move on. So moving on means uh, two things. We have avocado crema to make. Oh, yum, gonna be so delicious. But the Santa Maria is not gonna light itself. We gotta get over there and do something because it won't light itself, seriously. I've stood there before and I go, okay, light. D come on, D light. It just won't do it. It won't do it, I don't get it. So we have to do it for it, come on. So I've got my chimney filled with charcoal. I've got paper down here. Oh, come on, sometimes this doesn't always catch. Like that. There we go, okay. <laughs> so let's light the paper. Shut up. All right, so here's the deal. So forget my torch that doesn't always light. A chimney. It's one of the greatest ways to light charcoal. Yes, you can scatter charcoal around and put little igniter things in it. There's either natural ingredients or there's a chemical base ones, you don't want that, but you light it and then it catches. But the fact that it's in this stove pipe shaped chimney and you fill it up and you put paper on the bottom and you light it in about 20, 25 minutes, that thing will be ready to go. They're easy, they're simple to use and they're really the best, but wait. So forget the rust because it doesn't make any difference. This is my old one, this one, the only difference is that it has a handle that when you pull the handle, it opens up the bottom and all the hot charcoals come out. In this version, you have to pour it. Not that that's a big deal, but if you're in a confined space, if you have a small grill that you're using, this pouring thing can often be difficult. This one that just dumps everything out of the bottom, like a toilet flushing, a terrible analogy, I apologize for that, but you get the idea, everything just goes whoosh. This is really a good way to go. All right, now we have uh, avocado crema to make, and that's gonna be. Hey, before we make uh, the avocado crema, I promised my demo video. So take yourself back to 2002. Some of you might not have even been born. A lot, probably. Okay, a lot of you weren't born. Damn it! 2002, I made this video to try and get myself on television. I hired a guy to shoot it, had to really help him along the way, not with shooting, but with what made sense, what didn't make sense. And I want you to watch this because there's moments that you can see mistakes. You see his shadow on a cupboard at one point, out the kitchen window, you see a stand with a big tarp thing on it. The part that speaks to what ultimately was really me is that I can't find my whisk in this. The guy goes, okay, I'll stop, find your whisk, and we'll pick it back up again. I go, you know, somehow it feels natural to me that people don't know where everything is. Let's leave it in. He completely disagreed. That was the beginning of real Sam the Cooking Guy. So here, 90 seconds, I'm fucking awful in it. Why I ever got a job on television, I have no idea. Here we go. Hi, I'm Sam, the Cooking Guy. Today we're gonna make lemon teriyaki salmon. I call it rainy day salmon because back home we used to make it on rainy days all the time. And it takes no time at all. We start very simply with one pot, we're gonna put the following seven ingredients into it. Soy sauce, half a cup, quarter of a cup of sake. If you don't have this, you should, because it's great to drink and it's excellent to cook with. Third of a cup sugar, teaspoon of minced ginger, clove of garlic, juice of one whole lemon, juice going everywhere, a teaspoon of dry mustard, we're done. We're gonna put this on the stove for 10 minutes, let it simmer, in that time, we're gonna heat the oven, cut our salmon, and we're almost set. Really, it, it only needs to be there for maybe 10 minutes maximum. You just want it to thicken up a little bit. Grab my whisk. Okay, hang on. I can't find my whisk. Uh, okay, we're not gonna use a whisk. You just need to stir it around. All we're gonna do now is we're gonna baste it. It doesn't get any easier than this, honestly. We're gonna pop this 
under the broiler, five minutes on this side, five on the other side, and that's it. If you bring this salmon to the table, looking like this, people are gonna be blown away. I amaze even myself. My mom would be really proud. Rainy day salmon. I'm the cooking guy. I'll see you next time. Well, that wasn't the best. Uh, but it got, it got me, Max, that wasn't the best. But it got me on TV. That little 90 seconds uh, got a TV station here in San Diego to call and say, we'd like to put you on a couple times a week doing a 90 second cooking segment. They saw something in that. And as I'm fond of saying, you only need one person to believe in you. And a guy named Alberto Pando believed in me at what then was the Fox affiliate here in San Diego. So Alberto, I take my hat off to you. I would take my hat off to you if I wore a hat. I just don't look good in hats, any kind. So thank you, Alberto, for believing in me. And look where we are. I'm still fucking up. 20 years later, I'm still fucking up. We're 18. All right. On with the avocado crema. Much like the, uh, the carne sauté marinade, everything goes in here, and then we mix. We'll start with one avocado, seeded, peeled, and dropped in. Next up, a quarter cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. You could use sour cream if you want it. I don't think you need to. And I like the little tang that this brings. What will amount to be about a quarter a cup of cilantro, a couple tablespoons of milk, one, two, one clove of garlic, Juice of one lime. Oh, sh**. One half lime, <laughs> rind and all. Not the whole lime. <laughs> Pinch of kosher salt and pepper. We put the base on and we mix. There we go. Do your thing, baby, come on. Don't tell me, I know how much liquid to put in. Apparently not. I have 15 Emmys. Now I can't see anything. I make shakes like this every day. I know when there's not enough liquid. Fine, I thought I put in enough liquid. I did not put in enough liquid. Well, but here's the thing. I'm not trying to turn this into a shake. I want this to be thick and spreadable. That's what she said? That's what she said. Gross. See what this looks like. Oh, this. That is what I wanted. This is gonna go on that sandwich. Let's just taste it. Oh my God, that's heaven. Garlic. The lime juice, mm, it's freaking perfect. This is gonna help make this. I'm in a mess today. But you see all that smoke? Shit ready. Shall we go? Let's do it. Let's go. Okay, we're here. So you can see just this very top of the charcoal is not gone white yet, and that's okay because it will sit on top and then it will get the benefit of the heat from below. It'll carry over and all will be well. So we take this like this, we pull it away. Now we crank up the rack and we come in here. Remember what I said, when I pull this trigger right here, all of this will drop down and I'm ready to do that when Max is. And like this. How great is that? That's a great thing, man. Now right away we want to lower the rack so it gets the benefit of the heat. We want to get rid of the dust stuff that was there. Beautiful. There's a beautiful layer of heat in there. So I thought onions would be a nice addition. So I cut a couple fairly thick, threw a little oil on with them. And we'll let those start to do their thing. Nice. These are actually gonna take longer than the steak is, if you can believe it. 
I'll cook them right on the, the eyes of my face. And while the onions do their thing, we'll get ready to put on our proper carne asada. And by proper, I mean not proper because I've jacked it up by putting soy sauce in and pissing off somebody someplace. But here we go, it's gorgeous. And if you don't like the way that looks, Max hates you because he does love the way that looks. And with a little extra marinade in the bag, might as well take advantage of it. I'll use more when I flip it. Now just leave it. There's really nothing you need to do. We're just cooking steak and trying not to F it up. Love this. This makes me so happy you can't believe it. Let's check our onions. They're getting there. Slowly. Of course, I should have put them on earlier. Dumb things. The black's good. It's okay. They're going to be amazing. Now check this. Ready? Wow. Let's give it a little turn. Hello. Shall we? Yeah. Let's give it a little flip and see how we're doing. Ha <laughs> ha! Come on, you. Do your thing. There you go. And I might as well use up some of the marinade because, oh my God. It is so good. Lovely. I got an idea. Let's hurry these guys along. Wow. It is making me really happy here. Ow. So the carne's ready. As we take it off, let's put some of this juice on top of the onions. And this. It's gonna go rest for a minute. Look at this smoke coming off it. Wow, it's gonna be good. I say it's time to get ready to build. There's some major sensory shit. Astro! There's some major sensory shit going on right here. So first, I've got this, the carne. That's, if you haven't made this, oh, please. If I ask anything of you in this year of the COVID, it's I want you to make this. Look, it doesn't benefit me at all. You making this does not help me one iota. Hey, by the way, what, what, what's an iota? A little bit. <laughs> doesn't benefit me at all. It will only benefit you. Of course, if you hate it, then, uh, then here's what I say. If you hate my carne asada, unsubscribe, never watch again. Is that fair? Yeah, fine. It's fine because I don't know how it could happen like that. But the sensory thing, I've got this. Look at these onions. Look at the steam. Look at what's going, look at the color, the crisp, the blackening, the everything that's amazing. And then, hey, hey, don't forget about the avocado crema. All of these things are going to make this Wait, what's that? The, the, the sum of the parts is greater than the whole. There you go. Nobody knows what that means, but I think it's true. So here's the plan. I need to cut this carne, but before I do, I'm going to take my torta roll like this. And I want to give a little crisp to the inside. I know it's crazy, but I don't have to do that. Would you do that with a regular grilled cheese? No. Do I have to? No. Do I want to? F yes, I do. So I, I need some lubrication and here's what I'm using. Japanese mayonnaise. Laugh all you want. Go ahead, take an hour. It's going to make it incredible. So on we go. So mayo, mayo. Could you do this with regular mayo, Max? Yes. Should you? No. No. Because we're big fans of QP Japanese mayo. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag we're just in love with it. That being said, there is a holiday gift coming from QP that somebody's going to be really happy when they get. So we're going to take these guys, put them face down on the flat top, little sizzle, just a little texture and a little more flavor. So we're giving away stuff. What are we giving away? We're giving away an Evo. We're giving away a Traeger smoker. We're giving away a caliber, oh, it's over here. Caliber Pro Kamado in stainless. Oh, shit, wait till you see that. A couple thousand dollars worth of product from Chosen Foods. QP has given us 
$5,000 to give to someone, someone. One person. And would he have to do to get this, Max? You have to be a subscriber. Is that it? At the very least, you, the need very to so least, you can get notified. You need to be a subscriber so you can get notified. We're giving away five grand. We're giving away a lot Subscribe. of shit. A lot of shit. But more about that later. Now I just got to get these off. Oh, hello, gorgeous. Anybody that thinks mayonnaise is ridiculous for a grilled cheese is themselves ridiculous. All right, now we get going. So we take our beautiful piece of carne here. Oh God, See, look at all this juice that came off. That, and now I'm gonna do this. Oh, hello. Could you be more beautiful? I don't think so. Is that your eight inch chef's knife? This is my Sandler cooking guy eight inch chef's knife. Available now. Available right now. Link in the description. If they ordered right now, could they get it like right now? I mean, yeah, it would maybe ship the same day. Wow. So we're just gonna cut this up. With asshole barking in the background. So I want a pile of this. You were concerned that this was way too done. That's no. what you said. I didn't say that. You oh well, said, oh, I did. It's okay. Way done. I need to take it off. Okay, so maybe I did say that. Look, I worry about You're these so things. You're so sensitive. Isn't it better that I worry than not worry, yes. Dick? So now I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna cut these because I want to pile this up. I want this to be a pile of carne. Look how beautifully cooked that is. How about one little bite? Is it possible I could just have this little piece? Yes. Okay. Quick dunk in the extra marinade. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my God, it's freaking mental. I just said to Max, this might be one of the best things we've ever made. Haven't even tasted it yet. Okay, now let's build it right now. Here's how this looks. Oh my God. Look at that color. That color is insane. It's very nice. It's beautiful. Okay, first things first. The avocado crema is going down. Spread, spread, spread. Gorgeous. Don't be cheap. Next, onions. <sighs> These onions, man. There's some crazy ass flavor in these. Oh, I'm so happy we did this part. Next, Maxi, what is it? It's our steak, obviously. Ready? Part of my hands, but it was the only good way. <laughs> How's that look? Lovely. You know how it looks to me? Looks like I could use another piece or two. Wow. Now we come over here, we're gonna put our cheese on. And I'm going with Monterey Jack because I just love it. I'm a fan. I like the way it melts. Should we go three pieces? Uno, dos, and tres. Good. And now we go here. Remember the extra marinade that I saved back? Here's where it's coming into play. Very faint, but can you hear it? Wow. Oh my God. Put it on top. Could eat it like that. Or you could pick the whole thing up like this, put it on the flat top. So on we go and just let it start to crisp up on the bottom. That's the point. The point is a crispy sandwich. Apart from the mayo slathered and griddled inside of this torta roll. We want to add crisp to the outside and that's what we're going to do now. The weight's going to help compress a little bit, push everything together, help make it great. All right, time to flip. Don't, don't F it up folks. Ow, ow. But you see here, listen, that's the point. It's the textural differences that make stuff like this great. It's a simple concept. All of this inside that torta roll, uncooked, uncrisp, would be delicious. 
but when you take the extra time to get the outsides crispy and melt the cheese a little more, it becomes amazing. And when it's ready, it's ready. And all you have to do is take it off. You come over, you carefully upright it, you lay it down, and you look at your work. And the only thing left to do is cut it, because that's amazing. Oh, look what I've done. I've made a terrible mess, but a gorgeous mess. Wow. I mean, seriously, what's not to like? All the components. Mm. Mm. Garlic, lime. These onions are insane. The whole, oh my God. Knives are in stock. Not one, not two, not three, but four of our knives. The Nakiri brought all its friends. The Nakiri brought its friends. The eight inch chef's knife, the eight inch offset serrated bread knife, and the perfect four inch paring knife. Four inches is fine. That's a Howard Stern reference that maybe some of you will get. Anyway, go to makeamericacookagain.com. The link is below. And have a field day. Holidays are coming up. Make somebody happy. Fuck it. Make yourself happy. You deserve it. I ran into somebody the other day that said, dude, you just, you just play up all the mmm and oh uh, for the camera. I'm like, no. I do not play this up for the camera. If it sucked, I'd say it sucked. I don't benefit from lying. <laughs>